Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. Today, let's take another question on projection of lines in which the ends of the line lie in different quadrants. Here, we'll take an example on one end of the line is in first quadrant and the other end of the line is in second quadrant. Let us take an example for better understanding. The line RS is 95 mm long, make 35 degrees with HP and 40 degrees with VP. The end R is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP, whereas the other end is in second quadrant. Draw the projections of the line, find front view and top view lengths along with their inclinations. Let us extract the given data first. Line RS, two length 95 mm, theta 35 degrees, phi 40 degrees. R is 15 mm above and 20 mm in front, which puts R point in first quadrant, whereas S is given in second quadrant. To find, let us put this data on our normal solution in order to understand what is different in this question and how to proceed. So, this is our normal question, which is having the line in single quadrant, that is, first quadrant. We have the line in two different quadrants, one end in first quadrant, second end in second quadrant. So, the position of P dash and P here reflects R dash and R, that is in first quadrant. S is in second quadrant. According to the second quadrant, both front view and top view of the line should be above XY. So, here the front view locus will be accordingly, but here the top view locus, you have to take this angle phi upwards and then draw the true length in this manner. So you get the locus above xy. That's the only change you have to remember. Let's draw the actual solution. Given data here, starting with the solution, drawing xy line, vertical projector, locating 15 mm above and few point r dash, 20 mm below. Top view point R. Taking theta 35 degrees, drawing a line at 35 degrees. Taking phi 40 degrees, drawing another line again upwards. You have 95 mm as true length, taking 95 in your compass, keeping on R dash, drawing an arc. Similarly, keeping the compass on R, drawing another arc. Obtaining the locus, this is the locus of S in front view. Name of this point is S1 dash. Similarly, locus of S in top view, corresponding name S2. Now, projecting S1 dash to opposite points, opposite view, that is R, corresponding name S1, taking R, S1 in your compass as radius, keeping your compass at R here, drawing an arc until it meets the locus of S in top view. Corresponding name, that's the top view point of S. Similarly, projecting S2 to opposite points, opposite view, that is R dash up to R dash. Corresponding name S2 dash here, taking R dash, S2 dash in your compass as radius. Keeping compass on R dash, drawing an arc until it meets the locus of S in front view. Corresponding name S dash, that is the front view location of S. At last, joining R dash with S dash, this is our front view. Joining R with S, this is our front view. We have obtained the solution. If you follow these steps, the answers will be. Front view length 75 mm, top view length 77 mm, alpha 48 degrees, beta 51 degrees. Hope you have enjoyed the video. See you again with another video.